Linux is often celebrated for its freedom and cost efficiency. But not all distributions are entirely free. Some distros offer premium features, unique support structures, and enterprise grade services that come at a price. Whether it's a streamlined customization, extended security updates, or fully baked in professional software suites. Paid Linux distributions target users and organizations willing to invest in convenience, reliability, and enhanced functionality. In this overview, we will explore four Linux based options that require payment Zorin OS Pro, Lenspire, Archcraft Prime, and Ubuntu Pro. Outlining their features, advantages, drawbacks, and ideal use cases. Let's first start with the Zorin OS Pro. Overview and Cost Zorin OS Pro is a flagship paid edition of Zorin OS, a user-friendly distribution built atop Ubuntu LTS. While the free core edition already provides multiple desktop layouts and essential applications, Zorin OS Pro unlocks additional proprietary desktop themes, example, Windows 11 and Mac OS style, a suit of pre-configured productivity and creativity tools, and dedicated commercial support. As of mid-2025, the one-time fee for Zorin OS Pro is approximately 39 to 48 pounds, around 47.99 US dollars per license. Now, let's talk about the key features. Premium desktop layouts. Six extra layouts, mimicking Windows 11, Mac OS, and other modern UIs. Configurable via the Zorin Appearance Tool. Bundled creative and productivity software. A curated suite of professional grade applications, example, video editing, Photoshop compatible image editor, audio workstation, 3D graphic tools, which are pre installed and pre configured, enabling users to begin creative work immediately. Seamless Windows app support. Integrated wine and bottle tools. Let users install and run many Windows programs without manual configuration. Ubuntu LTS Stability Based on Ubuntu 23.10 LTS or later, ensuring up to 5 years of core support for the underlying OS. Now let's start with the pros. Time saving for beginners. Newcomers to Linux 